Hey there Electro fans, welcome back to Electrology. Today we're diving into the world of induction motors, those workhorses that keep our machines humming. But there's a hidden secret, these motors hold a silent thief stealing efficiency and it's all about something called power factor. Before we jump in, hit that like button and subscribe to the Electrology channel if you haven't already. Your support is what keeps the electrons flowing and motivates us to create even more exciting electro adventures for you. But there are some twists and turns, so make sure you stick around till the very end. That's where things get shockingly clear, all right? Let's get charged up and learn about why the power factor of an induction motor is less than one. Electrical power is not as straightforward as it might seem. It's actually a mix of two components. The first one is active power, the real power that the motor uses to perform its job, like turning a shaft. It's directly tied to the torque produced. Then there's reactive power. Now this is the power that doesn't really do any mechanical work, but it's crucial for establishing the magnetic field within the motor. It's like a dance partner to active power, creating a back and forth energy flow between the motor and the power supply. So what's the power factor? It's simply the ratio between these two components, with the ideal value being one. But in induction motors, this isn't the case. Why? The answer lies in the magnetizing current. Induction motors depend on a rotating magnetic field to induce current in the rotor. This magnetic field is created by the stator windings. But to create this magnetic field, the motor needs a current component called the magnetizing current. This current is out of phase with the voltage, which means it doesn't peak at the same time as the voltage. It's like a slow friend who always lags behind. This lagging magnetizing current means some of the total current drawn by the motor isn't contributing to the actual work. And that's why we get a power factor less than one. But wait, there's more. The power factor of an induction motor is influenced by the load and the motor design. At no load, the power factor is very low, around 0.2 to 0.3, because the magnetizing current dominates. As the load increases, the power factor improves. The design of the motor also plays a role. Things like the air gap between the stator and rotor can influence the magnetizing current and in turn, the power factor. A low power factor isn't just a number, it can lead to increased utility costs and inefficient power delivery. But don't worry, there are ways to improve the power factor, like using power factor correction capacitors. So, in a nutshell, the existence of magnetizing current, necessary for the operation of induction motors, results in a power factor less than one. But with careful consideration of load conditions and the implementation of power factor correction strategies, this can be mitigated. As we draw to a close, I want to express my deepest gratitude to all of you for your valuable time and interest in our content. Your support fuels our passion for continuing this journey of knowledge sharing. If you have found these videos beneficial, we encourage you to show your support by liking, sharing and subscribing to Electrology. Your engagement not only fuels our growth but also makes this a shared learning journey. We welcome you to voice any questions or suggestions you might have in the comments section below. Always remember, in the vast world of electrical engineering, the key to growth is perpetual learning and exploration. Until we meet again, keep exploring, keep learning.